This brings us to the next section of this module focusing on the Australopithecines. We'll, we'll talk about both Australopithecus afarensis and Australopithecus africanus or africanus. Recall our very simplified hominid phylogeny where our lineage, genus Homo, last shared a common ancestry with the lineage Pan, chimps and bonobos, that live today uh, five to eight million years ago. That's our last common ancestor. What we're doing is trying to find that last common ancestor and those other creatures that are close to or on our line. Any creature that postdates that split between us and Pan would be considered a hominid. And we have a number of hominid features like the loss of the honing facet and bipedalism that are indicators. We talked about some of the earliest or potential hominids and then now we're, we're going to move into the paranthropines and the australopithecines. And so this one will focus specifically on the australopithecines, afarensis, and africanus. Australopithecus afarensis was discovered by Don Johansson in the 1970s. Austral just means southern and pith means ape and the Afar region is where this this locality in Ethiopia, um, where it was discovered. And this fossil was effectively known as Lucy. And you can find Lucy fossils attributed to her and her species in parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, as well as Tanzania. And they generally date between three and four million years old. Here's the very famous fossil Lucy in her entirety. They think, of course, uh, this is this individual is female, and they've generally termed her to be around 40% uh, complete. And she's always found on this kind of uh, red felt uh, <laughs> uh, when she's laid out, and and specifically, this fossil dates to 3.2 million years old. But we have fossils. In, in both Ethiopia, uh, Kenya, and Tanzania that, that range between three and four million years old. Well, let's look at some of the features of Lucy as well as fossils in her species that indicate that this is a hominid. One indicator that Lucy walked on two legs or uh, was bipedal is a valgus knee. And when you look at uh, our knee, our knee is turned outward. And this is because we walk on two legs, because you have a pelvis that, as well as a chest that's directly above your pelvis, then you have to have a, a hip joint that's pointed outward so that the, your knees are pointed inward. And that's what a valgus knee is. If you look at the human and chimpanzee femur that's lined up uh, in this image, you can see that the chimpanzee does not have a valgus knee. It doesn't need one and um, because they're trying to prevent themselves from falling forward when they're on the ground knuckle walking. When you're walking on two legs, you're trying to prevent yourself from falling side to side. We have no problem going backward or forward. The key is side to side and a valgus knee allows us to do this. Um, the Every indication from the material uh, of Lucy and her fossil uh, indicates that she had a valgus knee. When you look at the cranial anatomy of Lucy and her species, Australopithecus afarensis, they have a cranial capacity, which is just a little under the average for uh, gorillas. Uh, their face actually juts out and is prognathic, not flat like you, right? So this is more of a, a chimp-like feature. And um, they do have a frame and magnum that is directly underneath, uh, much more... Uh, advanced when you compare it to some of the earlier hominid fossils. The pelvis of Australopithecus afarensis or Lucy, we only have one side, but we can actually, since we're symmetric in that dimension, we can, can reconstruct both sides. Uh, but every indication shows that the pelvis of Lucy is much more similar to ours than chimpanzee, you can see that the chimp has a narrow pelvis and it's tall and the blades are pointed to the back. If you look at our pelvis here on the right, ours is wide 
it's short, and all of those blades are oriented to the sides. Pe uh, Lucy's pelvis is wide and short with the uh, orientation of those blades mostly to the sides. The last Australopithecine that I want to talk about is Africanus. And Africanus is in the, is kind of the same genus as Lucy and her species. And it's just one that's found in, in the area uh, of South Africa. It was found by Raymond Dart in 1924. Uh, you can find them in these limestone fissure caves uh, in, in, or in and around places like Sturkfontein. And they date between two and a half to three thousand years. To, sorry, to two and a half to three million years old. And if you look at this specimen here that Raymond Art found, not only did they have parts and bits of the face, but they also had an endocast of the brain. The cranial anatomy, as well as the postcranial anatomy of Australopithecus africanus, is very similar to Afarensis. Um, it's kind of like they're in the same genus. They got to be two species because they're in different regions um, and they have slight differentiation. 